What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing great today. I wanted to introduce you to my friend Marie, and she's going to dive into how she made $80,000 in one day. Crazy sauce. So if you are an entrepreneur, coach, or consultant that's looking to accelerate your sales, go a little bit faster, welcome to this video. Marie, great to have you here. Let's dive in real quick. Tell us a little bit about who you are, who you serve, what is it, what it is that you do. Yeah, so nice seeing you all. Um, I'm an executive coach and a leadership coach, and I'm working uh, in the tech industry with a lot of people from the Bay Area, from Google, Amazon, Meta, mm -hmm. and we are also expanding now in the entire US. And uh, I was desperately looking for a solution because I was on one-on-one -on -one CS calls for so long. Mm. And when you spend your time on one-on-one -on -one CS calls the entire day, you just simply don't have any other time to develop amazing content, to support people free, which also one of my uh, you know, go to also bring career opportunities free of charge to the public because I believe people mm -hmm. really deserve to have a job. Mm -hmm. And so I was sitting on one-on-one -on -one CS course before. <clears throat> okay, okay. So before we found each other, that was what the majority of how you were making sales in your executive coaching business. That's what you were helping yes. as, as executives, corporate professionals, Marie? Yes, yes. Okay. And it okay. worked very well. It worked like a charm. It's just limited because mm -hmm. of my time. Yes, okay. So how many of you guys watching have done sales calls? Or maybe you're managing a sales team and it can, how does it feel, Marie, after you've been on the phone on sales calls? Can you describe that feeling for people? Um, so it is like repeating yourself on a one-on-one -on -one mm. basis for eight hours a day, every single day. And you need to bring your A-game. And the main mm. difference when I eventually find, find Eileen she created for me this new world of opportunities and this new world of opportunities are actually the master classes mm -hmm. and so when i find that one of the greatest uh, uh, excitement was for me oh gosh it's enough that only once a month i need to show up on my a game and i can do this from one to many mm -hmm. so that, that was that was amazing and so i was desperately looking for a solution which is a one to many mm -hmm. i just know that as long as I sell my time on a one-on-one -on -one basis is not scalable. Mm, it's not scalable. Yes, 100%. And it can be kind of exhausting. I don't know how many of you out there watching this or watching the replay uh, can attribute to repeat the, the amount of repetition and talking to people while it's awesome can also be draining. So you were like, okay, I, I'm having trouble perceiving wanting to keep doing this and making it scalable. And then we kind of found each other. So before, Marie, we started working together, had you ever sold one to many or sold to an audience or on a masterclass? Uh, so I haven't sold one to many. Okay. But I was already coaching groups. Yeah. Mm. I did have a little bit of experience okay. how to manage groups and group yeah. dynamics. And I felt very comfortable. I don't have a problem with public speaking. Mm. However, I don't believe that that is a requirement. That is something, but over time with practice, everybody can learn. Mm, yeah, that's such an encouraging thing for people who are a little nervous about speaking in front of groups. And maybe those of you watching who are new to business or new to entrepreneurship can be a little intimidating. But you, how would you encourage somebody, Marie, who's kind of thinking about presenting before a group for the very first time? Um, try to find the joy in the process. That's what I always do. I love so much people that... I come in with any kind of conversation. How can I be of service? I know that my intention is so good. And then, you know, whatever happens, I did my best. So I sleep well. I sleep well. <laughs> and that that always eases the entire process because I know that I come in with 100% positive intention. Mm. And so that takes away the anxiety. So great. 100%. So that's so find the joy in the process. That's killer. Joy in the process and detach yourself from detach, the outcome. Detach yourself from the outcome. That's right. 100% and show up. Uh, and I think that that is what enables you then to show up in a posture of service of how could I over deliver for this group of people that I'm here to serve right now. And that is yes. that provides a powerful event. Yeah. And another tip is that um, if you can connect with your purpose, mm. And the purpose is so much greater 
than your fear, then you're gonna overcome any fear because the purpose is so great. You are connecting to something which is, I call it the higher reasoning or your calling or your purpose. Mm. And uh, that helped Love me a lot. That. Mm. Love that. So good, Marie. Okay, so you dive into our training, you show up and you do um, a master class. Will you tell Marie <laughs> people what, what is a master class? And then how are you feeling before you did your, your first one? I was very excited to fly down from uh, from California to Houston. I was very much looking forward to seeing you. Um, Eileen, you have a beautiful uh, talent creating mm -hmm. trust, you know, in the first attempt. You are just coming across with such a beautiful, clean energy. Mm -hmm. And so I couldn't wait, you know, to meet you and the team. And so um, I was coming down to uh, Houston. It was a beautiful group of people, amazing people, mm -hmm. everybody with amazing intention, beautiful, clean energy. It was just mm. great. Yeah. And so we had three days together and I set an ambitious goal. I'm pretty much a doer as much as a learner. Mm. But I learned over the years that I only learn now and focus on learning, which I can implement in a very short period of time. Yeah, so the massive action is extremely important for okay. you know, whoever is watching this. Mm. If you don't take action, the knowledge is, I call it candy for the brain. <laughs> candy for the brain, yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so you need to take action. So what I did, I already set a date and my team was working on the funnel with the date. And so mm. I came down to Houston. We had the master class. We wrapped it up, I think, on a Friday. I flew back. And the next Friday, I was running my master class. Within a week. So with all this pumped up energy, I spent the weekend to write my master class. Mm. Mm. Uh, details, of course, with a lot of help from, from you during the workshop. Uh, I just finalized it uh, and put in the nitty gritty details and um, I run a masterclass the next Friday. Yes, okay, so so within a week, so you're like taking massive action, so that's fire. Yeah. That was important, <laughs> great takeaway. <laughs> and so you're doing your masterclass, now speaking in front of a group and now selling one to many. Were you nervous? Were you like, or were you totally fine? You felt calm? You felt confident? Just talk to us about how, how what was yeah. the experience like for you? I think I approached it as a real entrepreneur, you know, test and try, test try and try. see what works. And then after that, we optimize. Yeah. So um, sometimes we entrepreneurs don't hit everything right at the first time, not even the second time, maybe not even the 10 times, yes. you know, it really depends on what business uh, somebody yeah. who is watching it is in. And so I came in, hey, this is going to be the first one. We're going to test it. We're going to try what works. And so uh, I ran the masterclass. I was a little bit, of course, nervous because first time, the brain doesn't like anything which is new. The 100%. Brain, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I knew that, of course, you know, I'm teaching it as a leadership course. So I was expecting to be a little bit uncomfortable okay. because yeah. it's a new process. Right. Stuff. And then and then I ran the, the master class. I stayed until I answered all the questions at the end. Hmm. Uh, I learned the technique from you, which are the bits. I don't want to, you know, tell too much about because this is your secret sauce. I think that is just that technique is a million dollar verse. Hmm. Of I was like, when I was learning it, I was like in the seven heavens of delight. It was amazing. I'm like, oh, my God, this is genius. And so I and, and sidebar, just you keep your story, but the bits for those of you watching are kind of like stories that you could tell to help overcome the audience's objections, but it's being told in an engaging story format. So yes, please continue. Yes, I didn't want it to, I don't know how yeah, much yeah, I know I just I tell everybody yeah. new words. And so um I was learning the technique and I was adding it to the to the storylines, and I absolutely enjoyed telling mm. stories on the master class because it has several effects. One is it overcomes objections mm -hmm. ahead of time. But there is another one. It really sets you up as an authority and people start to think about you as you are super intelligent and you are... Super smarty pants. You are, you are doing... Super smarty pants. That's what's happening right now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and so I just enjoyed the entire process by the end. I stayed until the end. Of course, it was energy because, you know, you need to keep a group mm. engaged. Yeah. And we had quite a good uh, retention rate. And so I ended up closing uh, around $80,000 on that first event. 
And this is the first event. I don't even think that I was as conscious and as structured as I can be over time wow. as I'm going to learn this process and master the process mm. by doing and by continuing, you know, uh, support from you and the team. Congratulations, Marie. Holy cow. Wow. So $80,000 comes in after the master class. What is your reaction or like, what was your response? That it's amazing because it required me one day, you know, three and a half to four hours of the master class uh, versus I did such an amount earlier, but it required me to sit on one-on-one -on -one calls mm -hmm. six to eight hours a day. So the time saving and the effort saving and then next to that, the elegance of the mm -hmm. process. That's what I absolutely fall in love with. It's so elegant. You don't sell. You invite people. Come on. So How good, do right? you serve them? Yes. And it's such a different way than when you are on a one-on-one, -on -one, when they know that you want to close them. So if you try to overcome objections and try mm. to be a little bit tough because you want them to take action, mm. it may translate as CLC. Good. Great. And on the master class, you bring the bits, which is naturally dissolving their objections. Mm -hmm. You can be a little bit uh, hard, which I mean very clear in your messaging. Mm. It takes it one-on-one -on -one because there are like plenty of people on the call. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. How, how many, so, so well said and so well spoken about, about that, Marie. So it feels more elegant because you're just basically telling stories, but overcoming objections at the same time. So nobody feels like they're being sold because you're not selling them. You're helping overcome the mental blocks that people have to accomplishing that result. So the storytelling removes the objections elegantly in a way that serves them, whether they buy or don't buy. Exactly. So it's not about the, it's not about making the sale. It's about helping the people in the room. So Marie, how many people were inside your, were you speaking before like thousands and thousands? Was this like a Tony Robbins situation? How big, how big was the room that you were in? No, we had around 89 people. Awesome. Live. Wow. Great. And um, yeah, we, we kept them entertained for a time. So I think the retention was also high. Very but strong. It is again, because of the story. Mm -hmm. If I go there and I try to teach and I over teach, mm. I, I lose them. Yes. Will you talk about that for a second, Marie? What is the talk about what is over teaching? That's so good. So what I learned during the master class is that we need to build up desire. And the number one desire what we need to build up is that they want to create change. Mm. We want to create change because the current circumstances is no longer satisfying. So we elevate their standards. And Great. once we elevated the standards, they're going to see, okay, I need to make a change to get to that next level standard to become pro. Mm -hmm. And once people are opting in, okay, I want to do whatever I want to do at the professional level, mm. that is helping them to... Um, to see the entire opportunities differently. Yes, 100%. And, and for those of you watching, I don't know if you guys have ever been inside of a class where like the teacher was just boring, or if you were in a sales environment or you saw someone selling something, but nobody bought it. Oftentimes it's because the presenter was over teaching and not telling enough stories and not helping overcome people's objections. So that is an enormous difference of what you learned how to do, Marie, and that kept the retention very high, people paying attention, excited, engaged, and then moving into the invitation. So Marie, if, if there was um, you know, people thinking about selling high ticket or selling one to many, uh, but they're a little nervous about it, or, or they're on sales calls right now and they're like, I don't even, I've never even heard of selling one to many, what would, what would you tell somebody who's thinking about this model for their business? Um, what I would suggest is that they should give it, in any case, a chance, because I do believe whatever is their goal for the future, mm -hmm. learning this skill set is amazing. So that's number one. I think just without any doubt, I would suggest to any entrepreneur to learn the skill set. 
Mm. Secondly, um, even if at the end they are going after the one-on-one sales call, so if at the beginning they don't make a full price reveal like I did, price reveal, yeah. <clears throat> I did have people who still requested a catch-up call. You know, after that, like mm. a short call here, I still have one questions. Mm. And what happened there? Hundred percent of the people I talked to after the master class, I closed. And that's a very different time span than, you know, with the industry average, if you do 20 or maybe 30, you are absolutely outstanding, but it is still not 100. So 70% of your time is both wasted, while after the master class, the close rate is like significantly higher. Marie, that is fire sauce. And I'm just a standing ovation for you. Would you, would you agree that it's because of the immersion, that immersion is causing conversion at the event? So it's, it's the masterclass itself is the sales call. The, yes. It's called, and, yeah. And what is amazing here, what is the immersion here, instead of one hour, you spend with them four hours. Mm-hmm. So that time spent together very, you know, valuably, that, that is something which causes yeah. the conversion. Yes. And I, you know, what I love Marie and I know I love this about you is that your heart really is like, you actually love people like, and you, and you really want to serve them. So whether they buy your thing or they don't buy your thing, would you, would you speak to people who were maybe at the class, but their experience, even if they didn't buy your thing, you talk about that? Yes. I got a lot of feedback that the masterclass was amazing and how much they enjoyed it at the end. And of course, several people ask questions um, and they were not necessarily always the one who signed up, yep. but they all were very appreciative of the yep. masterclass. I love Because that. what we do here, we are changing people's perspective and mm-hmm. we elevate their hunger and desire for a uh, higher standard or more or doing things better or more professional. And they are very grateful for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful hope for the future. And whether at the end they decide that you are going to be the one who is serving them in this path or they try to go on their own and maybe later on they join, that doesn't really matter because you have given so much value for free or for potentially a small fee, depending if you are <clears throat> signing them up as a VIP. You're going to learn all from Eileen. Uh, you have provided so much value mm. ahead of time. And so they're going to remember you. They're going to remember you as someone who is a person yeah. with a goodwill and you build your uh, mm-hmm. market, mar- marketplace goodwill mm. in any case. That's so good, Marie. Wow. Well, congratulations. We are celebrating you in the comments. Maybe just give some emojis for Marie. That's fire sauce, $80,000 in one day. That's more than many people will ever make in a year, which is phenomenal. And you're buying your time back, which is our most valuable assets. <laughs> so Marie, how can people stay connected with you? How can they learn about your executive coaching? Yeah, it's on marihorvat.com. That's my website. Um, they can connect me with uh, uh, that uh, address okay. or they can also find me on Instagram, LinkedIn. Um, so yeah, it's H-O-R-V-A-T-H, Horvat is the end. So good. So guys, stay connected with Marie. She is awesome. And if you would like to learn more about the system, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're new in business, or you already have an established business, we have a challenge coming up. If you'd like to dive deeper, dive into creating your offer and learning how to sell one to many and be more effective in communicating so that you can grow your business. So you can check a link somewhere on this page or down below. We'd love to invite you to join us for the challenge. And Marie, we want to thank you for being a part of this interview. You, I'm so privileged to be connected with you, and I can't wait for more six-figure, more seven-figure days. I can see it. So, yeah. Thank you so much for the support, Eileen. Thank you. Thanks, Marie.